Hello everyone, welcome to Energy First Golf. In this video, I have a lot of clients and a lot of subscribers been watching our channel ask, asking, you know, leave a comment and ask me, hey, you have been talking about energy first, you know, um, the hitting and the arm swing and the body swing, but really, what is the difference between hitting the ball and swinging through the ball? Okay, I know a lot of you asking, and what, what is the difference? And the truth is, when you're learning, hitting the ball and learning swing, and they're completely different things, okay? So in this video, I really want to address that and make sure everybody has a clarity on why we at Energy First Golf, we're only going to teach you how to swing the golf club through the ball. We're not going to teach you how to hit the ball better. And the truth is, you're not going to ever improve will understand how to control the ball if you're just hitting the ball, all right? And I know a lot of you, you have your own coaches or you have your own, maybe, you know, someone teaching you or you've been watching other YouTube channel. Now, always ask yourself a question, are you hitting the ball or are you swinging through the ball? Now, if you have a coach, always ask him or ask her, say, hey, can you tell me the difference between a hitting the ball movement or a swing through the ball? What is the difference? Okay. And also you can ask them what is their teaching philosophy in relationship to understanding the golf swing and the game. And also be very mindful of that. A philosophy understanding of the game of golf and the golf swing is, is very different than what I call their work ethics. They may have very good work ethics. It means, oh, I really care about my clients. I'll make sure they want to work hard. I want to, I'm thinking about their, my clients. And, you know, those are work ethics. But understanding the swing philosophy means what is a golf swing? How do they understand it? How do they teach? What's their system? And ask them those questions. All right? So now, let's dive into it. Basically, you have a whole being. You have your body. Okay, we already talked about the golf ball. It's not the goal. So your goal is not supposed to say, hey, there's my ball. I'm going to make content and hit it because energy first impact later. So if you are hitting the ball right now, when you're standing over the ball, you're using all of your muscles in your body to create a movement where you're saying to yourself, I have to make contact. Okay. So by doing that, that means you actually don't know where the ball is going to go. But I know a lot of you say, well, yeah, I have a target. I, have, I know I want the ball where to go. But how many times when you're standing over the ball, you're telling yourself, I hope the ball is going to the target. All right? If you think about it, a lot of you just saying that, hey, I hope it happens. Okay. And also a lot of you say, hey, you know, I have, you know, I have been teaching golf for a long time. And a lot of you, a lot of you come to me and say, hey, I just want to be more consistent. And the truth is that that's also a very incorrect mentality. It's not the consistency you're looking for. You know, you don't ever play tennis and say, hey, I want to be very consistent. And you don't want to, you, know, you don't play any other sports say very consistent. Really the way how you define consistency is based on how well are you able to control what you're doing and control the ball to go to left to right. So with Energy First Golf, the correct control is what we're looking for, which is exactly why you have to learn how to swing the golf club through the ball. By hitting the ball, you are definitely using a lot of your energy to make contact. And that's the reason why a lot of you, if you try to hit the ball, you will never correct the problem coming over the top or getting a thin, hitting a fat, okay? So hitting just means you're using your whole entire being and your focus, try to make contact and hoping for the best, right? Because why? You don't, you're not creating a penetrated energy through the ball and your idea of emotion is never targeting a direction. You might be aiming at the direction, but 
you are not executing a movement that has a penetrated energy that's going to the target. Just means right now if I'm holding the ball, if I have an energy that's penetrated, it means I'm throwing the ball to a target. I'm not worried about do I have the ball in my hand. Okay, so now which leads to if you are swinging, if the ball is on the ground, right, and I have a club in my hand, I understand how my body moves. It can move slow, fast. If you're learning how to move your body correctly, you understand what slow means, what fast means, what medium speed means. And then you understand this energy, the swing, and you can create an energy that's penetrate through the ball. But by understanding that when you create energy that's penetrating through the ball, chance are you are controlling the exit point of the ball, where it's going. So in other words, your entire being is thinking about energy first, correct movement first, and getting through the ball. By understanding that correct movement and the energy first, you know you are controlling the energy, which is exactly when you throw in the ball, you know you are controlling an energy that's going to a target. But if you're using your 100% movement that's based on contact first, or if you try to square the club, chance are you are hitting at the ball. Yes, the ball will go somewhere, but will it go to your intended target? Or are you, do you have a control over the ball? It's absolutely questionable. So that's the reason why with Energy First Golf, we do not teach you how to hit balls. We will only teach you how to swing the golf club. Okay? Now, I know a lot of you say, wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, so you say, you're saying that I have been playing golf wrong. Um, yes, chance are you are, but you are still playing golf. Means you can still play golf by hitting the ball. It just, you don't have 100% control over the ball. But without the control, you're not fully going to enjoy this game of, this great game of golf. So understanding there's a difference between a hitting motion and a swing movement. Okay, and the results very different. And also, by learning how to swing, you're learning how to control the ball. So it's better for the long run. Okay, and the truth is, there's a lot of data and statistics to show you that you know USGA, United States Golf Association, the average score is still 90 to 95. That's assuming people are calculating or counting the score correctly, or doing the right thing to calculate their score. In my estimate. I think the average score should be about 102 to 105. Okay, so which is not that great because most people, you're not really fully enjoying this great game of golf because you don't have the correct movement. Your movement is based on impact or contact rather than a golf swing is based on an energy that's penetrating through the ball where you're controlling the energy and the ball is based on where your energy is going and you're controlling the direction. All right, so again, if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment or contact us. We'll be more than happy to answer some of your questions and we will also do, um, if you're interested, we can do swing analysis based on energy first golf. We will tell you exactly what you need to work on, how do you condition your body to work on those things. All right, so um, thank you for watching this video. Click here to subscribe to our channel and we have two recommendation videos. If you want to know more about Energy First Golf, please check out those videos. I will see you next time.